Groove 87 brings four grooves that are rideless. And this is a, a very cool technique. We're talking about construction, right? Groove construction. Now, here's a new, con new construction tool. We're not going to ride. Now, riding means, you know, you have a part like, you know, eighth notes on the hi-hat, you know, or jazz, or samba, you know, that kind of thing. You know, so there's a ride going on, like we typically normally do. But just really quick, I'm going to tell you a story. When I got called to do The Lion King on Broadway, the producer said to me, this can't sound like a drum set. And I was, but I'm playing a drum set. He said, every time you put your hand on a hi-hat, it sounds like it's uh, New York City and we have to sound like we're in Africa. So every time I did that, every single time, they stopped and said, you can't do that. I was like, all right, well, you know, so I had to come up with a different way to play. So I came up with a few grooves that were all basically rideless, based on the drums. And now you're just like, you know, haphazard, but patterns that grooved and had a backbeat, but were based on the drums. Rideless grooves. And it's been a really great technique that I've used a lot since then for a very, very, uh, very, very good musical effect. And I'm going to show it to you now. So we're going to play like kind of like a Cajun shuffle without a ride, and we're just going to kind of stay in this position. So where the backbeat is going to be boom, bop. One, a two, and three, and four, and one, a two, and three, and four, and one, two, a two, and one, and two, and one, two, a two, and one, and two, and. So you got that and. It's going to be over here. And then twos and fours are going to be over here. Let's see what it looks like. One, two, a one, two, three, ah. Uh. That's a great fun groove to play. So now when you're playing the shuffle, the obviously, if you don't have a left hand that can go. Hear that, hear that shuffle rhythm? It's in the crack. It's not. And it's not. It's in between that sloppy, weird, kind of just strange place between straight and swung. I don't even know what that is, but it just feels great when you play it. And then when you play it faster. Rideless grooves. And that's the one we're going to do right now. It's notated on your poster. That's how you play it. Two different tempos. You're going to have fun with this one. 